Hey guys, I decided to do weekly energies um, for both in love and out of love. So, glad I had still had some soda left in the house. Man, I wanted a soda so bad. I have a little bit of soda left, not a lot. <laughs> all right, weekly energies. We're getting weekly energies, all right? Um, this may go up to 30 minutes as long as what I'm being told. So, weekly energies. Um, since it's Monday, we are doing weekly energies for people. Um, okay, so weekly energies. We, the first card out is be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Okay. Get more on the weekly energies, please. Okay, I'll take that one then. Heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. Okay, they're telling me two more. So, that's what they have to tell me. Prosperity. There's a positive shift in in your flow of divine support. So, what they're telling you, what 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 what, what your guides are telling you, is there's a very positive shift in your divine support right now. Okay, I'll just take them. Okay. We do have self-confidence through God confidence. So this is all about believing in yourself and believing you can have the best for you as well. Okay? We got healthy communication and relationships. I feel like some of you know this is already coming where the communication is going to be heightened in relationships this week. Um, for the prosperity part, you're obviously... I'm sorry. We just drive out there. Um, obviously, there's many... Of the, Okay, so it says multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the person you're asking about. So, if you're having trouble with a person, it's going to be resolved, okay? And you need to kind of just let go of control issues and just do you right now, okay? That's what you need to do. Actually, um, <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go ahead and pop on some music and see if they randomly give me a song to give you. Because occasionally when I have Spotify plugged in and I pop a, a, um, a thing, an earbud in my ear, sometimes I'll hear a song. So, I'll see what song plays next because I feel that song is going to be significant. We're going to get magical messages from the fairies, too, okay? For the weekly energies. Man, let's get this weekly energy stuff going. Weekly energies for everybody. I focus better with music anyways. Uh, business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. For some of you, you're going to be get, getting career opportunities. Not necessarily all of you. We do have the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully recognized in the winter months. So, like, you're going to start recognizing a lot more coming to you in the winter months. I feel like this has to do with um, money being more stable come the winter months. Okay, I feel like this has something to do with letting you know that your money is going to start leveling out towards the winter months. Okay, um, we do have get some exercise as your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. And then we do have practice, practice, practice with daily practice, you can yeah. polish your skills and talents. So if you're trying to do something, please do it. The last card we have is holiday. The answer you are looking for can be found on a during on a vacation, retreat, or get holiday getaway. For some of you, the answers can be found when you retreat inside of yourself and listen to your intuition. Um, for some of you, there may be some travel coming up uh, for you to where you um, are seeing somebody or somebody is coming to see you. Get some Archangel Tarot cards, huh? Mm -hmm. Guardian Angel Tarot cards. I'm sorry, Guardian Angel Tarot cards. 
see what they have to say. Weekly energies, please. For my viewers. More, okay. Okay, one more. One more, and I'm gonna actually pull regular tarot too. One more, please. I'll even pull the love vibes too. Wow! That like went cuckoo bungas for cuckoo bungas. One more, please. Okay, two more. Okay, that, okay. All right. So we do have the Ten of Abundance that came out. Heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and working together. The children are provided for and comfortable retirement will one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes with knowing right from wrong and you should be very proud. So for some of you that were having family problems or having problems with your money, your family may be helping you out. And the other thing that I'm getting is that you may have proven to your family that they don't need to criticize you anymore, okay? And that it's not okay that they're criticizing you. The next thing we've got is messenger of action. Something new and excited related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated with life who wants to try everything. Okay? Um, next, we've got the Seven of Abundance. Have patience. Sometimes dreams go slowly. Don't worry. Your hard work you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will move forward quickly. Will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. And the next thing we got is celebration. Okay? This is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for your joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. For some of you, you're going to be planning a long-term type relationship with somebody um, and making it more long-term instead of just in and out. Um, for those of you that had an in and out relationship, for others of you, you may have invitations to weddings or social events, um, something like that. But there's going to be cause for celebration, and I know some of you may think that your dreams are going slowly, but they're, they're growing slowly for a reason. It's to pre prepare you for everything you ask for. Um, if you're asking for an actual true love relationship, know that you've got to release attachments, okay? Um, you can't rely on a person to fulfill your every need. You have to fulfill your own needs, too, okay? So, um, let's get more, huh? What vibes are we getting next? Okay, they're telling me to go for love vibes. So let's get this weekly love vibes. They're saying three cards. Love vibes for my viewers here. Love vibes for my viewers here, please, my guys. That love me very, very much and love everybody else very much on my channel. Thank you. Okay, well, we had a couple of cards come out. Okay. Um, we actually have four cards come out, so I'm going to take them. Okay. So what I'm getting is that some of you have kind of been up in your head about a situation um, in the recent past. Okay. You've been up in your head about a situation in the recent past that was just kind of like, when's this going to happen for me? When? When, 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 when? And you've been really patient, and what I'm getting is, like, your patience is going to pay off with the Nine of Pentacles, and you're going to come into this Ten of Cups energy in love. So the love energy is, you're going to be gaining some kind of emotional fulfillment, whether it's with yourself or someone else. Um, you're gaining emotional fulfillment, though. It is seeing that, I feel like what it's seeing is that once you find a way to make yourself feel emotionally fulfilled because nine of pentacles is kind of about making yourself happy and working on it for yourself and feeling grounded i feel like in love you're going to feel more grounded you're going to feel more fulfilled but at the same time i feel like this is a lot of self-love here um you're needing to embrace your self-love this week um 
so that somebody else can be willing to fight for you and communicate with you with the eight of wands so there is communication all right anything else out of that deck okay cool all right let me see what else we got Hell yeah, drink it up, drink, drink it up, go, 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 yummy, baby, acting like they drop. Oh my gosh, some of you are going to be partying this week, um, with somebody, I don't know, you may be partying, um, not all of you, but, um, if you're not partying, you need to have more fun, um, and dance around the house and listen to some music. See, I told you they give me songs to, like, tell me messages to give to people. That's why I popped music on. Okay, the overall energy. Oh, don't take them yet? Okay, hold on. What's the overall love energy here for this week? Okay, we have got it's safe for you love. What's the overall romance energy and love energy this week, please? Romance energy this week. Wow, we're not taking the whole deck. Wow, there's a lot going on for a lot of you. Some people, ooh, ooh, some people may be expressing their feelings to you. Woo! What's the overall romance energy this week? Woo, that was... Wow, what's the overall romance energy this week? Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have love yourself first. Let your friends help you. You need to spend more time with friends. Um, and romantic feelings are there, okay? They're telling me to pull one more and to show you flirt down at the bottom. Have your lighthearted energy. Don't be so damn serious. Codependency issues. You're breaking codependency issues. For some of you, you're working on breaking codependency issues. Freeing yourself from codependency issues. Whether it's from family codependency issues or or relying on somebody to make your make you happy which you can't just always rely on somebody to make you happy. you got to make yourself happy, too, and do stuff for you. Okay? Um, I'm going to get a couple more um, regular tarot to see what the vibe is this week um, for you all. So let me pick up a couple of these and, like, move them so they're not, like, everywhere. Okay. All right, let me pull a couple more oracle cards for you. Um, don't let deceptive family members get to you. See, random, random messages come in with music. I'll save myself. You know, she says, I'll save myself. Um, it's Evanescence going under. Go check out that song. It's about not being defeated by somebody else. Weekly energies for my viewers, please. Weekly energies for my viewers, please. This is the Tarot Illuminati deck, in case you're wondering. Wow, okay, one flipped over, two flipped over, three. Okay, cool. Okay, some of you are moving, being forced to move, actually. And justice is bringing this to you. Um, some of you may be an air sign or fire sign. Obviously, some of you could be a Libra, but, you know, like, signs don't really matter because these are weekly energies. Um, but I see something coming in for you around maybe the new moon or full moon, maybe. Um, uh, maybe there's something you guys can expect around then. <laughs> but some of you are being forced to move. Some of you are moving home. I am being told that you need to look at documents closely. We've got the strength card. 
that came out um for some of you you might be feeling really cold right now because a family member wronged you or something happened um that that's just making you feel like really cold or really just hard to move forward um and they're saying you're strong enough to make it through this okay you're strong enough to make it through this Tell me more about the weekly energies, please. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. I know that's a lot, but I feel like they're meant to come out. All right. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful... <laughs> weekly energies three of wands card of patience you gotta be patient you gotta be patient but your dreams are growing you got the world card a new cycle is about to unfold a new cycle a new beginning is about to unfold who's the new beginning with the knight of pentacles now while the knight of pentacles is a slow ass motherfucking knight the knight of pentacles is the, is the, is the knight that makes it across the finish line He's the one that isn't like in and out and flippy floppy and flighty righty and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and then we've got the Empress right next to it. So I feel like whoever's coming towards you sees you as the Empress. You! <laughs> and then we got the Eight of Pentacles. Um, from what I'm getting on the Ace of Cups, so from what I'm getting is for some of you, there is a person coming back to you or coming into your life who is going to want to work on a relationship with you, like literally put in the effort. All right? Um, for some of you, you need to be careful about a toxic family member they don't uh, please don't kill the messenger they don't give a fuck that you're crying over what they're doing and this family member is an ass and they think you're weak just because you're crying over it but you're really not crying is actually very healing and it's something that we need to do to heal so don't be afraid to cry. Um, I see that emotions are going to be running high with the Ace of Cups here. Emotions are really going to be running high this week. Um, you may find yourself getting emotional for no reason. Keep in mind we're in the we're we're, we're about to go into Mercury retrograde. So um, emotions I feel like are going to be running high if you're a Pisces. Um, and you have your Pisces and Mercury, or if you have your Pisces and Mercury at all, um, this, this Mercury retrograde may be emotional for you. Um, I have my Pisces and Mercury as well. I have my Pisces and Venus. I think I have my Pisces and Mercury. What do I have my Pisces and Mercury? I don't even remember. <clears throat> but yeah, I think my Pisces is in Mercury too, which explains why I get so damn emotional. <clears throat> um, but like literally if your Pisces is in Mercury you may be very emotional now if you have Scorpio in Pluto okay if your Scorpio is in Pl if, if your if your Pluto is in Scorpio um, during Mercury retrograde you may notice that your um, sex drive is pretty high it's, um, uh, for some of you, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm giving you messages that, that I think I need to give you. Mm. Can we get it? anything else for the weekly energies? Wow, okay, communication. The Princess of Pentacles, Yay! And truth. Truth is coming out. Offers are on the table. Opportunities are coming. 
if you've been waiting for communi communication or somebody to travel to you, boom, that opportunity just might be on the table for some of you. If you're waiting for somebody to speak their truth about their feelings, that could very much be on the table for you as well in Mercury uh, oh, but, um, this week or in the coming weeks. Um, but it's on its way. Um, we do have the Nine of Swords, though. Again, we got to stay out of our head, okay? You're, you're staying... You, some of you are going to be up in your head about needing about wanting and needing to get communication from somebody or wanting to just figure shit out right away um everything comes in time you can't figure everything out at once can i get anything else for the weekly energies for everyone viewing this video is there anything else that you want them to know about the weekly energies keep in mind this is a general reading Okay, for some of you, somebody that walked away from you and was in and out with you is now coming in in a different energy. He's not the Knight of Wands anymore. He is the King of Wands. Okay? He's not coming in as a Knight anymore. He's coming in more stable as the King of Wands. Okay? And he's made a decision. And, and like for some of you, he's made a decision to have this with you. Ten of Cups, okay? That's the second time I've seen Ten of Cups already. So, so we got. Is there any more that you want me to pull for them for weekly energies? Okay, so they said that's all. So, that is your weekly energies. I hope this helped y'all. Um, I'm not going to do crystal casting in this reading right now. I may do crystal casting next week. Um, because sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you crystal casting and what I've been doing. Um, I'll pull, like, little crystals from here. And, like, I have this new gift. Like, um, I can pull out crystals and, like, read messages. Um, I can just put them in my hands and start to read crystals. I don't know how I developed this ability. It was random and new. And my guys just told me, go ahead and try it. Try reading crystals try getting messages from them and you know it was just something new and awesome that I learned how to do and some people call it crystal casting or crystal reading it could be crystal casting or crystal reading but I can read energies off crystals now I can get messages from crystals alone um, I'm working on getting a, a larger collection of crystals so that I can read more into crystals um, but yeah i'll get there in time um so if this resonated please feel free to like and subscribe um feel free if you'd like to reach out for a personal reading um you can contact me at aquarius amethyst 777 at gmail.com i'll put that down below if you'd like to donate to my channel you can go ahead and donate i'll also have my tarot deck wish list but um i'm in the middle of moving because i can't afford my rent right now at this place so, um, I'm trying to figure out how to afford food for the month <laughs> instead. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, so I'm not sure if it's, uh, if, if, if gifting me a tarot deck right now is the best idea. I'd wait until I get moved and settled, uh, first. Um, but you can feel free to, um, donate to my PayPal if you'd like. Anyways, take care. Bye. And don't become numb.